Welcome to this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm focusing on e-matches and using these to let off your consumer fireworks by connecting the e-match to the Visco fuse on your firework. I'm going to be trying three different ways of doing this to see if any one is better than the others or if there's any failures in any of these methods. The igniters in question are standard e-matches not consumer e-matches which have a special shroud on them. You'll see from my previous video that I no longer use these because I've experienced failures. They're not as powerful in my tests as standard e-matches that I'm using today. Before I go any further, can I say a huge thank you to UKFR forum members Sparkler, Colin88, Dazuto, The Scary Monkey Show, Lord Frank 13 and Liam Gomesall, I hope I've pronounced your name right, for supporting or renewing your support for UKFR by way of a donation in September. Um, thank you so much for this. Every penny that's donated by members helps to go into making videos like this. So I really do appreciate that. Thank you very much. Let's crack on then. We're starting with the cheap and cheerful method, which is shoving the fuse down the shroud and then pulling the shroud back up to make a snug fit, as you'll see here. Normal advice for good practice here would be to have some black powder in the fuse exposed to the igniter itself, but I'm intentionally pushing the fuse down so the black powder end goes beyond the igniter head. The reason I'm doing this is just as an experiment to see if the e-match is powerful enough to ignite the fuse even through its protective lacquer coating, because if it can do that it just saves a bit of time and effort when you're setting up. Okay, so let's head out to the garden. Here come the first four, fired with my trusty DB04R. Absolutely no problems there at all. The flame wasn't just powerful enough to light the visco through its protective coating, it was also powerful enough to burn and melt the plastic on the shroud as well. Let's try another four. Again, no issues there, and with the power of that E-match head, it's hard to see Visco not igniting in these circumstances. But next I'm going to try a plastic widget called a Pro E-match to Visco connector. These actually are really neat. I like these a lot. You feed the Visco through a hole on one side, and when you close the clip, this holds the Visco really firmly. Next, you insert the E-match in its shroud in the other end, this has the effect of keeping the whole clip closed when you let go. Finally, you can wind the igniter wire around the case. This helps to make a really, really firm connection. You can tug on this quite hard and it doesn't come apart. No tape is required here either. These cost between 20 and 30p each, depending on quantity, so they are a bit of a considered purchase to add on to the cost of your igniter as well. Also, I note that the way these are designed is the fuse goes in one end and the igniter in the other. I know it sounds like I'm stating the blindingly obvious, but it, it means that when the igniter goes off, the flame goes directly on the end of the fuse rather than the fuse going down the side of the igniter. So again, getting back to good practice, if you carefully cut off the protected painted end of your fuse on your consumer firework before putting it in one of these widgets, that will make sure that the igniter is firing its flame at some black powder. So let's head out to the garden and see how these did. No problems there at all either. Moving on then to another type of connector. This is a more basic plastic connector. You put the igniter in one end and the visco fuse in the other. However, nothing really is very secure here as it stands. So you do need to tape up the visco to make sure that it does stay firmly in the connector. These cost about 12p each. I have to say after using the pro connectors, which are just so easy, I found messing about with tape and taping these in a little bit of a hassle, but your mileage may vary. However, let's head out to the garden and see how these do. No problems there either. Okay, switching fuse now. Rather than use quite thick 
test Visco, I'm going to use much thinner, stringier fuse taken from actual live fireworks from a cheap selection box. If you've watched my video from October last year, you'll know that this thinner fuse really tripped up the consumer e as they struggled to light this at all. So I'm going to push this down the shroud like I did in the first test. It's not such a snug fit, so in real life, if you wanted to do it this way, I think you'd need to tape them up as well. But let's see how we get on. Just to point out there that igniter number two wasn't wired in properly, so I had to go back and just reconnect it, so that's why it fired out of sequence, but no problems there. So let's repeat this test then with the Pro connectors. I was a bit worried that the thin Visco wouldn't be gripped quite as tightly when you close the clip, but in actual fact it was just as good with the thinner Visco as it was connecting to the thicker stuff. But let's see how this one gets on. They all fired okay. In fact, all 24 igniters fired, no problems, and all 24 pieces of Visco fired okay as well. There really is a difference in firepower, I've observed, between the standard e-matches here in this video and the consumer e-matches that I've used before. Um, I really would feel quite safe now moving towards using standard e-matches to ignite Visco as an alternative to Talons. Whether you want to use just the cheap and cheerful method of pushing the fuse down the shroud or one of the other connectors really is down to personal choice. I have to say I really do like the Pro connectors, they made life so much easier, but they do cost 20 to 30p each. Personally I put a value on ease of use so I'm willing to pay that, but if you're not then as you've seen in this video putting the fuse just down the shroud of the e-match and then perhaps taping it up would work absolutely fine. I wasn't so keen on the standard connectors where you had to tape them up. I just think this sort of fell between the two different ways of doing it. If you're gonna to have to tape it up, why not just stick it down the shroud and tape it there? To wrap things up then, bringing all of my testing thus far together, Talon igniters I have had 100% success rate with, standard e-matches I've had 100% success rate with, consumer e-matches I've had failures with, quite a few failures in some cases, so overall, my advice is for lighting Visco fuse to use either Talons or standard e-matches. I personally won't be using consumer e-matches any further. I hope you found this video useful. As always, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching me and I will see you next time. Goodbye.